Hello PennDOT Community Traffic Safety Partners. Thank you for joining us for a video which is being produced for you by the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia Center for Injury Research and Prevention. In this video, we'll get started with a brief overview of the fundamentals of the program planning process and discuss program planning, implementation, and evaluation as a cycle. We'll also introduce to you the key concepts or stages that occur in program planning and evaluation. Program planning, implementation, and evaluation is often referred to in terms of a cycle for two main reasons. First, each part of the cycle will help feed into the next cycle and inform the next stage of your work. Second, our hope is that once you've introduced a program or intervention into your community, that your goal will be to revise and refine for the future so that you can continue to best serve your community. Typically, the cycle starts by assessing your community needs. We'll teach you more about how to do this in chapters 2 and 3. With chapters 4, 5, and 6, we'll start talking about how to develop your program implementation and evaluation plan by creating very clear goals and objectives and assessing the resources that you currently have in place. In chapters 7 and 8, we'll talk about how you can use evidence, evidence-based programs that already exist, and other evidence that you can gather from your community to help inform the kind of program that you should be implementing. When you get to the next phase of the cycle, which focuses on implementing your program plan, it's important to also track your fidelity and the overall process. Tracking your fidelity refers to tracking how well you do in implementing your program according to the plan that you've set forward. If you've decided to adapt your program from another program that's pre-existing, then tracking your fidelity also refers to how well you deliver your program as it was intended based on the original program. We'll talk more about this again in chapters 7 and 8. When we get to chapters 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13, we'll start moving to the next stage of the cycle, which is to evaluate your outcomes and impact and share your results. At this stage, you're looking to see how well your program did at accomplishing the goals that you set forward and how well you were able to serve your community. You'll then want to share those results with your community, your stakeholders, or other members, and think about how you can use those to feed into the new needs that you'll assess in your community going forward. Some key concepts or stages in program and planning and evaluation. Typically, we start by asking the basic question of what is the problem and what are the issues facing your community, as well as who your target audience is going to be. The way to determine your target audience is typically by thinking about those that are most impacted by the issues that you're targeting. You'll then move on to asking yourself how you're going to solve this problem. Define the program goals that you want to target and choose an intervention or program that can help you do that. Ask yourself what kinds of programs will address the issue to best meet your goals, and ask yourself as well if there's another program that already exists which might help you to have a starting point from which you can adapt. You can see the Teen Traffic Safety Program Database along with your resources material to get you started by looking at other programs that might tackle similar issues. And lastly, you'll be thinking about evaluation. You'll ask yourself, how will you measure your progress? And you'll define your program objectives and success metrics in your program planning so that you can know later on how you're going to know if you reach the goals that you set for yourself. You've just finished watching Chapter 1, a brief overview of the fundamentals in program planning. In the next chapter, we'll get started with sharing how you can conduct your community needs assessment to determine the overall needs of your community and help you start to set the goals for your program. Thank you for watching.